everybody welcome back welcome back to crafting on a budget store.com for all your scrapbook needs and more i am here today or well, this evening to do a tutorial it's going to be done in two parts today we're going to make the inside of the book and tomorrow we'll make the covers of the book this is so stinking easy and you are going to say this is going to be my go-to book for the rest of my life <laughs> you really are you truly are because it it's so easy and so fast to mass produce them so if you wanted to do a lot in a row um you can because the pages are all the same size so the cutting is really easy but i'm going to go through all the measurements and everything as we go and um talk to you a little bit about it this is the stack the deck concept that was originally created by Laura Dennison. A lot of people have done videos using this. This is not something I created. I followed um, a tutorial that I liked that seemed very quick and easy that Scrimping Mommy did. And so I thought we would give it a whirl. Um, so yes, I'm very excited about this. I, I really am because you're, you're just going to fall in love with this project and it's just going to be a go-to project for you for any time you want to make something fast and easy and simple. We are going to use the incredible paper called Time for Home by Chow Bella. That's the wintry scene one that I showed you if you haven't looked at my review of it. If you go to the videos and look at all the videos, you'll see that I did a video review of this particular um, paper. I love it. It's beautiful. I have kept some pages to the side for the covers um, because I want to make sure I have enough. But you're going to have plenty of paper with one pad to make this book and we'll probably make some other things to go along with it because it's just going to be we're, we're going to have a lot left over and so we'll we'll be making some more projects with this i wanted to say a quick thank you um for those of you who've been watching my videos and um commenting and liking i really appreciate it um when you guys like a video it really helps me so even if I mean it's gonna sound funny but even if you don't like me per se if you like the video it helps her so do her that favor and like the video so that YouTube knows you know that she's doing great and you know we can um, help her build her channel because that's really important um, so without further ado again it's Craft, it's www.craftingonabudgetstore.com and if you use Michelle with two L's DT you do get a discount so um, there you have it so the first thing we're going to put together is the base and you need three pieces for the base the first one is five and a half by nine and a quarter your next page is five and a half by eight and three quarters and then your top page is five and a half by a quarter so what I'm going to do is I put my tape on the back of the biggest one because this is what is going to get glued into our spine so that's why there's tape on the back now this one I'm going to glue centered directly onto this one and I remembered my little pokey tool. Also, I wanted to give you a helpful hint because I was noticing um, with regards to scoring, if you have to score something like, like for instance, with this project, some of the stuff I could have scored on a smaller scoreboard. But I say... If you're scoring, I'm going to use a little bit of this Yoohoo just to give me um, that placement. Give me that little wiggle room so when I place this, I, I do good with it. Um, but use the same, use the same one. 
because not all scoreboards are the same and not all scoring tools are the same. So if you're doing a project and you need to use your big scoreboard and you're using something other than this type of a thing, you're using like the regular bone folderish type thing, use the same for every um, page, for everything in the book. So now all I'm going to do is center this, but I, but these are the same height. So I'm just going to center it as best as I can. That looks about right. That looks good. Sorry, I don't know that. I don't know why my A device, I'm not even going to say her name, is talking, but she is. Okay, so now we have some pages in, and I'm not worried about the writing because the writing we're going to uh, cover up with our mats. Okay, and then this final little page, I'm going to score before I put in there. And you're going to see that we're already going to have a book made. <laughs> I mean, if you didn't want to add anything else to this, if you didn't want to add the flips, the, uh, the pockets, whatever, if you didn't want to do anything else to this, you already have a book. And again, I'm going to center this as best as I can. And it's very forgiving, so you're not going to have a problem. And there we go. And now, very easy, we've created the start of our book. See? See how that works? So we have all these pages in it. I am going to just, you know, do what I did before, which was just prep the side of the page. Okay. All right. So now we have our book base. And this is what's going to go into our spine and covers once we're done. Some people even just use it like this because um, it does get pretty thick with all the layering, but I'm not going to do it that way. I, I definitely want a, a chipboard cover and spine. So just so you know, I'm not going to do it that way. So now let's think about what we want to put in this. I thought we could have a page that flips so I made two flips and the flips are four and a half by five and a half. I made two of them for this book and you score a half an inch on the four and a half inch side. So I thought let's put a flip on the very first page. And of course we're going to have to put magnets, you know, you know that's going to happen, but I'm going to put this flip on the very first page. So I'm just adjusting this book. I'm moving it around to make it easier for me to see. So there we go. Now I'm probably going to have to put magnets and stuff, but I'm not worrying about that. So there's my flip. Now I have one more flip to go. So maybe I'll put it on the last page. Again, four and a half by five and a half, score a half an inch on the four and a half inch side. And I'm going to put this on my last page. You doesn't, whatever order you want to put it in, it's your book. You do it how you want to do it. But this is what I want to do. Here we go. Okay. So now I have a flip there. Okay, I have a flip here, flip there. Now I have a double flip. The double flip is, you need two of them. Well, you don't have to do two. I did two. Five and a half by eight and a quarter. And you're going to score it at three and seven eighths and seven and three quarters. And this is going to give us a cute little flip. So it can either go this way or we can have it go this way. We've got to see when we put it in our book which way we like it. But I'm bending both ways just to see. So I think I'm going to put this on page two. 
So I'm either going to want it. Yeah, I'm going to want it to go like this. So it comes out like that. See what I'm see what I'm doing there? That's how I want it. So I'm going to glue it onto this side of page two. The in the reverse side of page two, I should say. And I'm going to get that evened up. It's hard to see. It's dark. Dark out. You know me. I'm the night owl. Okay. All right. So that's cool. So that page does this. So then maybe on the next to the last page, we'll do the same thing. We'll, we'll do the exact same thing. And is that going to, yeah. So we'll do the exact same thing. Now, again, you don't have to do these. It just really adds something to the book. And we're probably going to put magnets to hold these down. So don't be surprised when you see the magnets coming out. Okay. Oh, that's so cool. So see, there we go. Now I have two pockets, but we're not going to put the pockets in yet because we have to um, first get our pages down. So the, the, the uh, mats go down first. Now what you're going to love about this is because every single page is the same size, every single mat is the same size. Every mat is three and three quarters by five and a quarter. Three and three quarters by five and a quarter. And if you've done this like me, you're going to need 24 mats because we need to cover up 24 pages. So now let me get my magnets. And I'm very sad to say, where are my magnets? They're attached to something. That's weird. Where'd they go? I always keep them here. Oh my gosh, they must be magnetized to something close to me. But what I don't know, so let me just get more rather than waste time. It's it's not worth wasting the time looking for them. So hold on a second, guys. Sorry about that. I thought they were right there. That's where they usually are. I'm looking at my stapler to see. I see one, but I don't see any others. Um, and actually, that one goes on my glue to hold my pin that I unclog. So let me put that back on. But where do the other ones go? They're stuck to something. They're definitely stuck on something. What? I don't know. Let me just fix this. Oh, boy. I'm making a mess. I probably should have, shouldn't worry about this right now, but since I saw it, I'm going to get that done. All right, let me just stick this on the side, and then I'll put my pin where that is. So that stays magnetized, and let's get some magnets. And my other ones will probably show up at some point, but... For now, I know where they are. It's easy for me to get them, so we'll just grab them. All right. And just so you know, my score tape is pretty much done. So you saw all the projects I did with this score tape. So you have an idea now of like how many projects you can get out of a roll of score tape. Um, 
but we're probably going to need more. So I have my other one out. All right, so I'm going to put a magnet here, and then I'm going to put one on the other side of the flap. Before I do that, I'm going to cut a piece off. I'm going to go like this. I'm going to have it reattach itself. And then I'm going to push that down. And now I have my magnet on that page. Now for the flip out page, we should probably put a magnet maybe here. Let's see. I'm thinking, whoa, it's trying to come to my other magnets. I'm thinking the back of the page and then let's see, let's see if this is going to hold it. We might have to add an extra one, but I don't know. No, that seems to hold it. That's how it goes. Okay, so that's good. All right. So now, how do we do that? We did it on here. Did it on our second page and on this. Okay. That's great. Actually, we should put it here. Whoa, don't go to my magnets. Stay put. Stay put. And then I love working with magnets. Um, I think that's where it is. So let me get my tape underneath it. <laughs> Okay, stay put. I get you. Put that like that. So here we have that. And then we just have, is that not, oh, that's not, that's not going to stay. I need, hold a second. How did this one stay? Because I did it on the first page. Okay, that's all right. We'll do it on the first page. I was wondering why it wasn't staying shut. So let's see. Where is it? Where's the magnet? <gasps> I'm doing it the wrong way. I don't want it that way. Let me put the other ones to the side. I think that's part of the problem. Oh my gosh. Oh, I know because the magnet's in the wrong position. I only flipped the magnet. There we go. It has to go on the front, the back of the front, or else it won't hold it all together. There we go. And then this one, how do we do that one? We put one on the front and then one on the back. All right. And once we get our magnets down, we can very easily start. Oh, come on now. Oh my gosh. It doesn't like me holding the other magnets. Um, we can start doing all of our mats. And I've already pre-cut them. So it should go by really, really fast. And we're going to use art glitter glue for this. Okay, we got all our magnets in place. Awesome. Okay, that was easy. So now I have a bunch of mats. These are the 24 mats that you need. 
again, if you are keeping track or you forgot to write it down, these are three and three quarters by five and a quarter. Now you get to decide whatever ones you want to use. I thought this one would be pretty on the front. There's going to be a quarter of an inch, well, less than a quarter of an inch um, border around all of it, just so that you know. Let's get our art glitter glue. Let's hope we don't have any problems with the art glitter glue. It's been sitting here for a while, so I am going to just stick my pen in there and, and make sure that I don't have any drama with it. All right. I'm going to remove the tape and you know sometimes it's easier just to flatten it out as you're working and I'm gonna put some glue on my mat and I'm gonna put it down guys this is just so insanely easy you're just going to be like oh my gosh this is crazy all right I'm rubbing that here and again I'm not really put worrying about any order I just cut them and I kind of just stacked them as I went so however I stacked them is however they're going into the book and I mean you just can't get any easier than this can you I mean really whoop take the tape off don't let me forget okay there we go all right so we have that matted now we have these two to go. Kind of like that one there. So, but again, it's it's whatever you like, and whatever paper you're using it doesn't have to be this paper. I will highly suggest this paper because I do think this paper is just beautiful. And I think it really is a nice for a winter book. And I love the fact that it's winter and not Christmas. Um, you know, sometimes when we're, we're in the Christmas season and we're crafting, you know, that's all we're doing is Christmas, Christmas, Christmas. And don't get me wrong. I, you guys know I'm bonkers over Christmas. But sometimes it's just nice to have, you know, something different. So let's see, maybe I'll use the house on this one. This is our flip page, our flip, double flip. So let's put this on here. Okay, I wanted to make sure there was no magnet that I forgot about because I know there is a magnet here. Okay. So this flips out like this. So let's take this. There's my little pen. It's easier. It's much easier with this little tool. So I hope that you guys have a great weekend. And everybody is healthy and safe. And please pray for all of the people that were recently affected by oh my gosh I, I just watched the news with those tornadoes and everything and it's just so sad it's like it just I, I feel so bad for I feel so bad it's heartbreaking And pray for the first responders and the police and everybody that's just trying to, to help rescue and, you know, dig these people out. I mean, it's just, it's horrible. Okay, now this opens like this. Let me put this one here and this one there. 
Okay, I like that. And again, I didn't put these in any kind of order, guys. It's just how I, I, you know, I cut them. And by doing this, you could probably, I think with one pad, you could easily make two books. Easily. Glue's doing good. My glue's doing really good today. It's behaving. That's because I refilled it. <laughs> oh, I love that. Ta da! Ta da! I love flips and I love fun things in my books. I just do. One day I'll show you my, I, I actually made my own pattern because I wanted, I saw something similar on the internet, could not find a pattern, couldn't find a tutorial. It was just a picture. And I said, you know what? I know dimensions, know anything. And I said, I'm making this book. Um, and I actually made two of them. <laughs> Marty has one and I have the other. <laughs> I made one for Marty and one for me. Let's see, I like the music notes. And it's it's a it's huge. The book is massive and it has so many flips. Um it's like out of control on steroids. It's I mean the amount of paper you need, it's crazy. But I would make another one. <laughs> because I love it and I will show it to you um, at one point and then if we decide we want to make it I'll have to get with May and see you know what she has a lot of paper of because you need a lot of paper um, that's the only that's the only bad thing is you need a lot of paper so but we can certainly we can certainly try it I'm a, I'm I'm up for another one of them, but it's big. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, it's it's really it's really big. Marty was gonna make one with me, and then she was like, "Oh, forget this! This is too big, too many too many cutting. I need too much paper." Blah blah blah. So I ended up giving her my Christmas one. Okay, here's our little flip out so we have to be mindful of the magnets oh, I just look at those blue jays and of course you know I already told you this reminds me so much of my grandmother with the blue jays so it's very special to me this book is going to be so special and remind me of her every time I see it and I love things that remind me of my grandmother and you guys all know that or should or should my my oldies but goodies my OGs will definitely know that <laughs> my newbies that I, ha I haven't met you all yet that are watching um my grandmother raised me and my grandmother was like just the most amazing, amazing person. She was so kind, so giving, so loving, and she just taught me so much. Um, and she had very bad cancer. She had um, lung cancer that had metastasized and it was all over her bones and so unfortunately we lost her I'm noticing that this page is a tiny bit crooked i'll probably put it on that way so i'm just fixing that last flip so it doesn't look so obvious it, i mean it uh, it looked obvious that it was um let's see i'm just seeing what i have I do music notes? No, okay. 
So maybe we'll do this one here. Music here. Okay, maybe this here. Okay. I like to kind of just play a little bit to see where, where I want things. Oh, I almost forgot. Um, but yes, uh, Belle was two and a half when she passed. And oh my gosh, it was horrible. She was on hospice and she was in so much pain. And her last words that she spoke, um, she said, I love you so much to me. And then she went for days without speaking. And those were her final, final words were to me. Um, we just had a, such a special bond and especially around Christmas, I get very, you know, I don't want to say blue, but I get very sentimental because I think of her and I know that she has a great view from heaven and is seeing everything I'm doing, but it would be so nice if she could be here. And I think all of us feel like that when we lose a loved one. We, you know, we understand that they're, you know, absent from us, present with the Lord, but we also miss them, you know? I mean, that's just human, that's just human nature. I cut too many? No, I didn't cut too many of these. I was going to say, wow, it looks like I cut too many. But no, I don't think so. Okay. Yeah, I mean, oh, no, I didn't. All right, here's the flip. Here we go with the flip. I like this. So we'll do that first. Then we're going to add belly bands. We're going to add pockets. We're going to add tags. We're going to do everything that we need to do in this video, which, believe it or not, guys, we're almost done matting this whole book, and it's only 32 minutes, and I'm talking a lot. <laughs> So, you know, it's good if that, if that's what's happening, you know, we're doing really good. All right. We have this. We have that. Maybe I didn't cut enough. Hold on. It looks like I'm going to be, oh no, I did. All right. So maybe I'll put that guy there. Yeah. So yeah, can you believe, can you believe just how fast we're going? It's insane. <laughs> but that's what I love about this book. That's why I'm telling you, this is going to be your go-to book because it's so fast and easy. And when you cut all the pieces out, like I did ahead of time, you can bang these out. Fast. And you know I love I love some quick I mean I like to, I like taking my time with some projects too. I'm not gonna say I don't, but I do like to do the I can't right now, honey. Thank you. Just leave it in the microwave. I do like to do some quick ones too. Sorry, that was my hubby. He was bringing me in something to eat. I didn't eat yet today. Um, I've been busy. I've just been trying to get this. I like to try to get this all prepped so I'm not cutting and I'm not measuring. And I have everything to give to you guys because I just think, you know, I don't want to waste your time. And, you know, I appreciate the time that you put in. Some of these, some of these tutorials take a long time. Oh, my gosh. Ow. Okay. So there we have it. Look at that. Oh, what ha what's happening here with this? There we go. Oh my gosh. So it flips. That stays there. Then we have this and that. Then we have this, this. Then we have this way and this way. And then we have this. Okay, so now belly bands. 
I have them. Where did I put them? Okay, I have two. And the belly bands are five and a half by one and a quarter. Now, I may want to change that. Hmm. I may want to change them to be the same size as the mat. Because I don't know, I don't like it going over the mat. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a little pencil mark. And I'm going to cut one. I'm not going to cut the other one because the other mat might not be the same size. Here's my other. Uh, which means I'm going to have to probably make my um, things smaller. My mat's a little bit smaller because the mats I made were one by five and a quarter. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm going to have to take a little bit off. But that's okay because I I want them to be uh, yeah I like that and I could do this yeah right, I'll do that <laughs> talk myself into it could do that yeah my hubby's so good to me he's he's always making me my tea he treats me like a princess he really does I'm very blessed. Very, very blessed to have him. Um, my aunt, for those of you who have been praying, she had her last chemo. She got to ring her bell. And now we wait and see if the tumor shrunk, if the lymph node invasion is gone, and take it from there. It's been a long, long haul. Maybe we'll do this one on this side. And I'm just placing these wherever, guys. So, you know, you place them where you see fit. We have the pockets, too. And I have to trim this now. I'm going to trim it on this side because I don't want this, the bird to be cut off. And I did not add little flaps to these belly bands because I'm not putting a ton of stuff in there. So I don't need a, a lot of give. So I didn't, I didn't add that. It's a little crooked. Well, it's down already, so. That's okay. It's all, it's all right. But do you believe how fast this book is going? Okay. Pockets are next. The pockets are two, mm, five by three. And you score a half an inch on all three sides. And then I like to tab my pockets. But I put the tape on it to save time. But I do like to tab all of all my edges. There we go. All right. And now let me just burnish this a little bit. That. And we'll see where we want this pocket to go. Wow, this pocket looks a lot bigger than. Hmm. Let's see. The pocket measurement like just fits in between the score lines. So you really want to make sure that you're putting it on a page that it's going to work. So I might put it on the back of this page because I know it's going to, even if it sits a little bit over, it's going to be okay. So that's where I'm going to put this one. 
and then I'll figure out where I'm going to put the other one. But I mean, it is exactly the, the size of the page, but even though it's the size of the page, there's some bulk. And so it kind of like, um, that's the word I want to use. There's some bulk there. So it, it just kind of goes just slightly over the score line. And I don't want that. So I'm going to find pages that I know it's going to fit perfectly on. And this happens to be one of those pages. So we're going to use it. Here we go. And see, even though it's a little bit over flap there, I'm not, I'm not really concerned about that. It's tiny, just a tiny bit over. Wow. I wonder, yeah, there's nothing I could do about that. I should have pushed it over more, but that's okay. Um, and now we have one more and then we'll mat these. And I'm just using this. I love this Teflon bone folder. And I believe May has them in the store. And if she doesn't ask, she'll order it for you. She can definitely get them. So not to worry. You won't be left out. And then my last piece of tape. Hmm. Behave. I need to get my pokey tool out. Okay. You might want to cut a little close so it's not really sticking itself to the bottom. It's too good. All right, let's see where we can put this one. Maybe on this page. Let's see. Yeah, I think so. You know what? Before I do anything. I'm going to get my glue because I'm going to give myself enough little wiggle room there so that I can get this attached and I'm coming as far to the edge as possible. Is that going to go over the score? It is. It's a good thing I did that like that over just a tiny pinch. I wonder if I could maybe I'm trying to just make this a tiny bit more burnished in, in like a little bit over the fact. I know it's probably not a good idea. I'm probably going to wreck this one but we'll see. Now let me see. There and there. Yeah, that'll fit now. <laughs> that'll fit now. I just scored it a little bit. In more. Just because if not, I would go over the score line and we can't do that. All right, let's now mat our... our pockets and the mats oh I gotta erase that because we're gonna see the we're gonna see the writing the mats are for the pockets two and a quarter by three and three quarters that's not the right mat here they are I was gonna say that's not the right size here they are Ah, look at how that much better. So let's add our mats to our pockets. And I cut out some of the ephemera and the tags so that we could see what we want to put where. Where's my other pocket back here? So this can go on here. I wonder if I could pick this up. 
Mm. Really ruining it. Really ruining it. Yeah. I guess I can't do that. I wonder if I could trim it and then just glue it. That's going to bother me. So you see what I did? I trimmed it and then I'm just going to glue it back in place because I can't, I couldn't pull it up. And then I'll just glue this pocket together. I just didn't like how that looked. That was really bothering me that it was over by a tiny pinch, but I didn't like it. So we fixed it. Okay, all well, is right in the world now. All right, and then this one is going to go here. This is going to go here. Okay, and then it had these two cute little sayings and these two cute tags. So I almost thought we could do like a double, well, actually, a triple. Like a triple layer. I like that. I think I'm just going to cut that gray off the top there and on this side. I see, I saw a little gray overhang that I didn't like. So. So we'll just triple mat these pockets. And this is, piece is in the inside cover. And then I like the snow, the snowflakes fall in the wrong place. And we could do, let's use a little pop, little pop dots for this. I think would be cute. There's that. And then let's go to our other pocket. And we have this. Let me cut that gray off. I didn't know how much I needed to cut off, so I was just very careful in case I uh, had to cut more. I'd rather have it be bigger than smaller. And then this one will say... Cold air, dark nights, warm fire by the stars. Okay, let me undo. I hope that you're understanding what I'm doing. I think you guys are. I think you're getting it without even being in view. <laughs> it's so hard. I never look over at the computer to see what it's doing. And I think that's part of my problem, you know? All right, pop dots. And I get these from the dollar store in the automotive section, if you are wondering. So they're not really the official pop dots. I think that's what they're called, pop dots. But I, I, I do know that a lot of companies make them. And they're probably like acid free and all that, which is, you know, something if if you want if you're looking for that that would be good all right then i have this word winter which i loved and i thought maybe that could go here on the very first page maybe centered on a dot i like these i i love dimension so, okay, well, I see that's not cut evenly, so hold up, hold up. All right, now let's see. Yeah, that looks about centered. Winter, okay. So we have that and that. Now here's our belly band. So I did cut out some 
cute little images that I thought maybe we could put on the belly band. I think I like that one. And I'm not going to pop dot this. I'm just going to glue this one in place. The other one might be too big. I might have to cut the bird out. We'll see. And I have some cut aparts from the collection that I thought we could stick under our band. If I can get under the belly band, there we go. <laughs> so I'll put two there. And then we're good to go here. Um, let's do the other belly band and then it's there. I'm going to have to cut this bird out. He's going to take up too much room. So let me cut him out. And we'll put this one on here. Okay. And then we have these two journaling cards. We'll stick those in there. Easy peasy. And then our pockets. I had tags that I cut out. So let's see, we got three and Four. I wonder why it didn't have an even amount. Oh, that's okay. So let's fill our pockets. Oh, look at the Blue Jays. Just fill the pockets up. And then I'm on the wrong page. Get back where you belong. Okay. So now let's see where we what we're at. So we have this first page. Make sure I'm in view. In fact, I'm gonna zoom. I'm gonna zoom a little. And then I'm gonna move it. Okay. So the first page we have, let me let me close my glue. I'm sorry guys. I'm gonna show you the pages. Mm. Okay, so this is page one, and it's a flap. So you can put pictures here and here, and maybe there. And then this is page two. This is page three. We have the belly band with two cute journaling cards inside. And then when we go to the reverse side of page three, we have our flip. One side goes one way, or you can look at these two. Okay, and I kind of like it just like that. Then this is blank. We have our pocket page. We have another page. Another belly band with the two journaling cards. And then here is our flip. And then here we have a, a just blank page for pictures, another blank page. Here's more blank page. And then the back is our pocket. So you see how filled up we got just like that. Now I was thinking I have these cards, but they're kind of the same size. Yeah, I'm not going to use this. I think I'm just going to leave it because we still have to do our inside covers um, and our outside cover. And so I don't want to have, um, I don't want to waste those yet until I know, cause I might want to put those on the inside covers. I think those would be neat, but I mean, isn't, look at how cute that is. We have magnets, we have belly bands, we have journaling cards, we have, uh, pockets, we have flips. So, I mean, we have a lot in just this little tiny book. And I, I love that. I love that about this pattern. So stay tuned. We are going to do covers tomorrow. Um, like I said, some people will leave it like this and they don't even want to cover. They may put something back here, you know, a, you know, like a pattern piece of paper. But I want covers. 
I'm big on covers. I like chipboard covers. So we're going to do covers for this. But you don't have to. If you don't want to, you could just leave it like this. Add a, add a pat, pattern piece of paper to there. Because it's not flimsy. It really is not flimsy. It's It feels good in your hands. Um, but I just... I need covers. And I think that you'll like it better with covers too. But you could see how quick and easy that was. Less than an hour. Do you believe it? Once you're organized and have all your paperwork ready. Michelle, look at what happens. <laughs> you get things done faster. <laughs> anyway, guys, thanks so much for tuning in. Stay tuned for um, the covers tomorrow. And then we'll see what else we're going to make with this amazing, amazing paper. But until then, stay safe, be well, God bless you all, and bye for now.